Eminem just dropped this album out of nowhere. He said a lot of names. Um, I'm just going to go through it. I'm going to play them all by the artist. And then I'm going to be like, I'm going to say like, I'm going to give y'all context on like what the fuck he's talking about. Because some of the shit y'all might not get or like might not understand. First up, Drake. You already know what people been saying about Drake. Ghostwriting. He says like shit about ghostwriting like three times. Still, I don't have any manners. You got a couple of ghostwriters, but to these kids, it don't actually matter. Kiss my disrespectful ass. I ride through your cold this like window crack bumping your reference tracks. You, you collaborative effort rap. I, I have never said his raps. All I know is I wrote every single word of everything I ever murdered. Time to separate the sheep from ghosts. Yeah. And I got no faith in your writers. I don't believe in ghosts. You got some views, but you're still below me. Mine are higher, so when you compare our views, you get overlooked. These rappers are like Hunger Games. One minute they're mocking Jay, next minute they get the stuff from me. Go, so they copy Drake. So Drake and Jay-Z have been kind of going back and forth, like real light, nothing too new, too heavy as far as disses and stuff, but they have been going at it. So I think that's the mocking Jay he's talking about. Um, and then he says, got their style from Migos, so they copy Drake. Drake has been accused of using the Migos flow, I think a couple times. I know it was one time on nothing was the same, um, but that could be a shot at Drake, I feel like. Because he does copy a lot of flows, not just Migos, but he does take a lot of, you know, inspiration from a lot of other artists. The fans waited for this moment, like that feature when I stole the show. Not sorry if I took forever. <laughs> Another shot at Drake. Not really a shot, but just kind of like, like, just like kind of jabs. Talking about how he took forever. Forever was the track with Drake, Lil Wayne, you know. For me, that shit. That, that song was Drake, Lil Wayne, and Eminem, and Eminem got a whole, like, beat switch, and he really just snapped on it, so he's talking about, you know, I took forever, like, I took that shit, that was my song. E even Royce the 5'9 gets in on it, talking about how certain people make songs for chicks, which is basically Drake. Everybody doing chick joints, probably rob these little dudes at fist point. Somebody tell Button before I stab, he better back. fasten it, or have his body back and zip the closest thing he's had to hit to smack and pitch. Mmm. That's bars. Joe Budden podcast about to be lit. but he's just saying like Joe Budden never had hits besides when he hit his girl so like fuck and don't make me have to give it back to academics say this shit is trash again I'll have you twisted like you had it when you thought you had me slipping at the telly even when I'm getting brain you'll never catch me with a thought so academics is like hip hop TMZ but it's just like one guy and he just you know just talks about rap news he basically was all over the fact that this video of eminem and this chick got leaked and this chick came to his room to his room or something i forget what it was but academic was sharing it and eminem calls him out jack the ripper back in business tyler create nothing i see why you called yourself a bitch it's not just because you lack attention it's because you worship the 12 balls you're sacrilegious major shots fired at this motherfucker tyler the creator he's basically saying Tyler the Creator came out talking about oh I'm gay on that last album just for attention and he's basically saying that you didn't just say you're gay because of attention you're actually gay because you're on D12 Eminem's old groups nuts trying to copy what they did trying to be like shocking and get attention so I, I just kind of figured this one out but he says Earl the sweater whatever his name is he's like get him to help you write your bars Tyler the Creator because your bars are weak or whatever but then he says better than two letters and i i'm thinking that's a shot at of our future like two letters of so damn tyler tyler don't give a fuck though you know he, he gonna tweet some funny shit tomorrow but that's crazy i'm fed up with being humble and rumor is i'm hungry i'm sure you heard bumbling revival didn't go viral the nine and royce tell me that i should take the high road got a right to be this way i got swiped inside my dna i'm savage but ain't thinking about no bank account can see why people like little yachty but not me though not even dissing it just ain't for me this is the one i feel the worst about because it, it's it's really a light diss but he's just like he doesn't even say his music he's just like i don't like little yachty like no diss on his music he's like i just don't like him like damn maybe stan just isn't your cup of tea maybe your cup full of syrup and lean y'all in the stuff like doubled up styrofoam cups on them uppers and downers Woo. finger bang chicken wang pgk igazay low punk low sand imitate little wayne Bang, bang, booty tang, Burger King, Gucci gang, Biggie dang, Charlemagne. Cats gon' take decks, eight dats for the G raps. Came back, we need three stacks, ASAP. Hey, 
ASAP and bring that to the ace back Cause Tapper, these rappers have brain damage Run into it, I'm gonna crumble you and I'll take a number two and dump on you if you ain't joining If you ain't Kendrick or Cole or Sean and you're a corner Don't, don't tell me about the culture I inspired the Hobsons, the Logics, the Coles, the Sean's, the Chaos, the Five Nines and O Brought the world 50 Cent, you the squat, piss and moan But I'm not gonna fall But I know at least he's heard it Cause Agent Orange just sent the secret service to meet in person to see If I really think of hurting him or ask if I'm linked to terrorists I said only when it comes to ink and lyricists Oh yeah, let me get this out the way I know there's people that are pissed about the way I mispronounce the name Fuck, I still can't say this shit, but how quickly they forget So Eminem said this on, on this other song I'd rather hear him say die inward than die inward He, he mispronounced the name, their name or some shit, I don't know, but he brought them up So yeah, it's in the video, suck my dick Cause if I lose it, we can rewind to some old Ja Rule shit And I can remind motherfuckers how you shit So, rap history, Ja Rule talked about Haley, Eminem's daughter on a record talking about your mom was a or some shit. What do you think Haley's gonna grow up to be? So Hey, I'm declaring your mother's a crackhead and Kim is a known slut. So what's Haley gonna be when she grows up? <laughs> Eminem then responds by not responding but having his whole crew or D12 just go through and diss Ja Rule and he just sings the hook. Like he doesn't even have a verse. I think the song is called like Haley's Revenge or some shit, but yeah, you can look that up. But yeah, so he didn't even he could have like destroyed him himself, but he didn't even do nothing besides the intro, the hook, and the outro. But yeah, him versus Ja Rule. Brain damage, auto lean rapping, face tats rubbed out like tree sap. I don't hate trap. I ain't got it there as long as my Ferrari spider move like sea breezy. Sky's blue, the tires new, the Maserati white and cool like GEs. But next time you don't gotta use Tech 9 if you wanna come at me with a submachine gun. And I'm talking to you, but you already know who the fuck you are, Kelly. So this might be the most direct diss on the whole album, but basically Machine Gun Kelly dissed Eminem real subliminal on a track with Tech 9 called No Reasons. You gon' need a doctor, I ain't talking about the one from Compton. Popped in on the top charts at the cop car, so remind y'all you just rap, you not guards. No. So Machine Gun Kelly dissed or subliminally dissed Eminem on a Tech 9 track earlier. Machine Gun Kelly was featured. So when, when Eminem says, you want to come at me with a submachine gun, he's talking about a subliminal diss from Machine Gun Kelly. Okay, when he says submachine gun, Tech 9 was the person whose song it was. So a Tech 9 is, is a submachine gun, like in, like literally a submachine gun. Um, and then he follows it up saying, I don't know who the fuck you are, Kelly. Talking about Kelly, Machine Gun Kelly, but kind of a tie-in with R. Kelly. I don't know why he said that. There's no real tie-in to it, but R. Kelly, Kelly, Machine Gun Kelly. That shit goes together. And before all that, he was talking about guns and stuff, too. So Machine Gun Kelly kind of ties in. Only time you'll ever say I lost, you'll be talking about Fetty Wap, better call Diddy. Just to try to get me off, and you better hope I don't call Trick Trick. Bitch, this shit don't fly in our city. Punk, you don't disrespect OGs, R.P. Prodigy. Trick Trick is a rapper from Detroit. I know him from Eminem song. Welcome to Detroit City. I really like that song. And then Prodigy was a member of Mob Deep, but I'm not sure why who he's talking about when he's talking about disrespecting him. So I'm not sure about that. But those are two legendary rappers. I mean, Trick Trick maybe not so much, but in Detroit he's probably legendary. I've been going for your juggler since Craig G Duck Alert, but I've been going for your juggler since Craig G Duck Alert. Uh, Craig G is a rapper. He had a song called Duck Alert that came out in like the '80s or some shit. So he's like he been hot since then. Eminem calls out some random person who came up to Shade 45, you know, his, his radio station and had a trash freestyle and they would never play it again because it was so ass. I heard your freestyle on Shade 45, that shit was embarrassing. There is no way we ever hear that shit again. I guarantee that way that shit was so ass. It's something we wouldn't dare re air it. And last but certainly not least, the motherfucking legend. The motherfucking goat of the rap game, the savior, young thug. <laughs>